friends and happy vlogmas day 17 i am lit it's not 17 it's day 16. i am just getting home i also am filming back on my ken g7x i'm just not happy with the other i think it's great for the car and i know like you're not getting as much of a wide angle view but i want to just see how this footage looks comparatively because i'm just not just not feeling it i'm just not feeling it it's harder to keep things in frame with this but we are going to make it work it is five o'clock i'm just getting home but i am trying to figure out dinner and all of those things and just keeping it moving um also I had to pick up some things for work tomorrow i'm making breakfast for everyone and yeah just trying to get things unloaded so once i get unloaded once i get settled in i will catch up with you all right this is from anthropology and it is this really really adorable knit hat and that one scarf i was telling you about it's so good but it's like a beautiful like long fringed scarf really oh perfect gifts perfect perfect gifts so there is that oh my goodness I am going to have a link for this, but this is the new Burst Toothbrush and Water Pick in Lavender. It was sent to me from a dear subscriber who has like sent us so many amazing Burst things. I'm going to make sure that I have her shop link and all of those things linked down below. This is the toothbrush and water flosser that both Steven and I use. And she sent us this new limited edition color cannot wait cannot wait for you to try these they are so incredible we have only used these for over the last year probably longer highly recommend makes it the most amazing gift and i will be gifting these a beautifully wrapped package oh i love that they use shoelaces for that so this is a pair of Golden Goose sneakers, one of my favorite sneaker brands. However, I do not know if these are going to fit. These might be a return because they didn't have the size I bought last time. These are a size larger, but I also think I have some room to go a size larger, but here they are. They are this really cute, like faux leopard glittery, distressed shenanigans. I'm hoping these work. We will have to give them a try to see if they do, but they're really cool. All right, we will try these bad boys on later. I'm going to box these up. I will link what I can for you down below. I need to go figure out dinner. 16, we got Fig Leaf Goat Milk Lip Balm, a Rituals Soap Bar from William Morris, the Geranium and Eucalyptus Bath Foam. I, that's probably been my favorite scent from this calendar. Day five of Value Spa is Moso Bamboo. Mm, that's a very clean, very mild scent. It smells a little soapy. Day 16 is Toby. That's actually Bubba's real name. His legal name is Toby. What is it? It's a, I forget what this kind of dog is called. What kind of dog is it? Airedale? Yeah, it's an Airedale. His yeah. name is Toby. Aw. Bubba, do you wanna meet your Toby? Come here. This doggy's name's Toby too. Who's Toby? Toby what? You're Toby, Bubby. I don't go by that. Your name is Toby. His name is Toby. That's only my stage name on certain tours. Like the vet. Well, yeah, at the, yeah. And at Grandma and Grandpa's. Uh oh. <laughs> it, so, <this> <laughs> <one>. <laughs> that, that was a disaster that was also. <laughs> 
some sugar on me. In the name of love. These are the green apple sharks. I'm honestly so done with this calendar. I don't even want to open it. Have a holly dolly Christmas. It's the worst time of the year. Especially if you bought an empty calendar this year. I mean, I'm so, so done. The empty boxes could be the way that I have it stored, but like, absolutely not worth it. I just want to make it clear that I am a Dolly Parton fan. I love her, I love her, I love her. But that calendar, they did Dolly dirty. Like, William Sonoma, William Sonoma sold it? did her dirty. Her name should have never been attached to that. Uh, tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I wanna, wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna really, really, really wanna zig a zig. This is toasted spice. What are you doing? So, we're doing the David's Tea calendar. I contacted David's Tea on Instagram today, and I told them about the debate that's raging about there are nine. No, you did not. I most certainly did. I said, check out this channel because people are saying that currants are berries, so there are 10 berries in your nine berry tea. I have not heard back from them, but I did read the comments uh, on yesterday's vlog. It appears that currants are berries, and people are very um, adamant that they are. So does that make it 10 berries, then are we sure? Well, I, that's why I reached out to David's Tea. No, but based off of the list on the back, there would be 10? Yes, we counted. So that would be the 10th berry. So we, they need to fix it. Have you or, double checked to make we, sure you're right? We did it twice yesterday. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, so we did it twice. There are 10 berries in the 10 berry tea. And they had the nerve on their Instagram page to feature the nine berry tea yesterday, but it is really 10 berries. So the people at David's Tea really need to contact us back to explain why there are 10 berries in their nine berry tea. Well, I can promise you I'm not losing any sleep. Well, I did it in the middle of the night when I woke up. So anyway, if you work for David's Tea, please, we need an answer for this question. Um, because we've been doing this calendar now for what? Four years, probably. Maybe more, four? I don't know, I would think four. Well, a long time, we get one every year. So, I mean, the calendar's very nice, but they need to be a little bit more accurate when they label. <laughs> uh, what is today? 16. 16. Right here. All right. Hopefully this one doesn't have a number in it. It's 27. <laughs> 27 grasses. <laughs> 27 leaves. Elf help. Oops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. No, no, don't. don't. Uh-oh. What is elf help? Um, the suspense is killing us. I know, I can't find it on here. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, green tea, black, cur black currants again, orange peel, papaya, apple, uh, and it's kosher. So, um, you're an elf help. You're an elf help. Elf help, elf help, elf help. I am working with this camera today and it feels so cropped in. So like, I don't know. I'm wondering, I don't know. The picture looks so much more clearer on this one though. So I'm a little torn around it. I would love to know what you guys like. If you guys like the wide angled, more, large view. It is so much easier to frame your shots. Like this is a lot more challenging when you're moving around and trying to do so many things like we do in Vlogmas. So much harder to frame your shots um, with this camera opposed to that wide lens. Like right there, I was like out of frame. So I don't know, there are pros and cons to both, but I'm excited to see how this footage looks to see if there is a huge difference. Stabilization in this is not nearly as good. So, I mean, what's the trade off? All right, so I was just editing and I remembered that yesterday in the comments someone asked us to answer some like holiday themed question. So they want me and Steven to answer it. The first question is, what was the most favorite gift you ever received as a kid? Do you know yours yet? Not yet. I know mine. <laughs> 
Mine was an Ariel doll from The Little Mermaid, and I remember playing with it and playing the soundtrack. I got like all the dolls from The Little Mermaid. My grandmother had taken me to see it, and I remember playing the soundtrack on a cassette tape and like acting all the songs out with the dolls. That was one of my favorite gifts. Yours was probably a book. Um, it probably was. I can't really remember. I mean, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it was something that was not complicated and it was simple and cheap and, you know, I mean, it, 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 nothing that really, did I get a, no, I got a bike for my birthday when I was like five. Um, I can't really, I mean, I'm sure there's something my parents probably remember. Maybe they don't, but I, I can't remember. I'm sorry. What about your favorite holiday memory? Oh, um, I guess Christmas Eve at my uh, grandmother's house. Um, and then uh, driving there in the snow and then coming back and uh, waiting for Santa and then going to sleep and then waking up the next morning. So I, I think Christmas Eve with my family at my grandmother's house. I had two things hop into my mind. Favorite is both with you. Christmas Eve in Ireland at that church where we went to the Christmas Eve service. The cold one? Yes. St. Andrew's in Dublin. St. Andrew's in Dublin, that Christmas Eve service and the choir behind us singing. Mm -hmm. It was like such a, it was so cold in there, but like so beautiful and like so old. And then the other was Christmas markets in Milan where we each took out 50 euros yeah. or yeah. 100 euros. It, I think it was 25, but you upped it to like 30. 50. Oh, I don't remember. It was it wasn't fifty. It wasn't, it was, and we each went Christmas shopping for each other. Yeah. That's another fun memory. Oh, I thought we had to do like childhood memory. No, I think just favorite holiday memory. Those, oh, but like that Christmas Eve service still like is in my head. And then didn't the didn't the hotel have a Christmas Eve party that we went to that night? Yes. Like had, I really remember that the Belvedere Hotel in, yes. in Dublin. Yes, it was a, it was a, like it was a gorgeous buffet. Actually, I think they served. Yeah. And they had like yes. favors and, and hats. And hats. And it almost felt like a New Year's Eve party yes. a little bit. Yeah. It was like, it was stunning. It was, I was not expecting it. It was really nice. So uh, the hotel really, you know, went above and beyond when we were in Dublin. And that was our pre honeymoon because that was the, that was like a week before we got we married. We got married. And then this one's funny for you, but current or favorite Christmas song by what artist? He hates Christmas music. Yeah, I don't, sorry, I mean. You couldn't like, even pick one Christmas song that you really like? Uh, does Bjork do a Christmas album? I don't know. I think that would be it if she did. Good. Like, I, 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 I um, what? You don't have a favorite Christmas song? I mean, I listen to yours all the time, so it's sort of like, I'm not going to say anything by Kelly Clarkson because she gets played ad nauseum in this house. Currently, Blessed by Kelly Clarkson and Glow by Kelly Clarkson and Chris Stapleton. Those are my two current favorites. I absolutely love them. And actually, one of our other favorite holiday traditions we'll be doing tomorrow night, which I'll be filming, but the upload will probably be later. So I've done it almost every year. You probably already know what it is, but it's one of our favorite things to do and we're super excited. We've had our tickets for a while. And we can do it now. We, we couldn't do it last year. No, we went last year. But it was in the day. No, we went in the evening, but it was so cold that, oh, it was in the day. Yeah. Because it was still daylight out. And we couldn't go in the, in the buildings. Yeah. Yeah. So we're super excited to go tomorrow. We'll be filming it. You'll be getting it shared with you but it'll probably be later. And then next week, I would say we probably have the biggest Vlogmas surprise we've ever done. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited about that. And tomorrow's my last day of work, but I'm gonna end this like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.